Hi, today I'm reviewing the Makeup Forever Lustrous Shadow Palette. And really quick, I just want to say I purchased all these products with my own money, so you know you can trust my opinion is what I honestly believe. And if you want to help support the channel, click on the Amazon link below before you make your purchases. So this is a new palette from Makeup Forever. It sells for $49. And it is a collection of some of their um, favorite colors. And first of all, I the, the packaging I really dislike. It's got this kind of coating on it, so it's like almost sticky. So if you stack it up with other palettes, like I usually have on my bathroom counter, I've got stacks of several palettes. This one gets stuck on all of them, or if you apply, put anything on top of it, it gets stuck on it, and it gets dirty super easily, so I hate that. Um, the packaging otherwise is okay. It's not super convenient for traveling. They definitely could have made this a little different. Um, and the bottom part can definitely bend quite easily. So I'm definitely not liking that. And then the colors are kind of just put on there in a foam insert. So the packaging for me is awful. I don't like it. I wish they would have gone with something a little smaller or just something more um, normal, you know, just like a little cardboard thing. I don't know. This is terrible. I hate this. It's bulky. Anyway, so aside from that, let me give you some swatches here. And I think Makeup Forever recently changed their formula. So um, if you like their old formula, it's definitely something to keep in your mind that I think this is a new formula. So I'll give you some swatches here. Okay. So as you can see, some of these shadows are definitely less pigmented than others in terms of the row of shimmery colors. Um, really, the gold stood out the most. Um, the other two are kind of not too pigmented. Um, and then the darker colors, of course, have some good pigmentation. Um, there's not a ton of fallout. I think it just depends on what brush you use as well. But it's kind of iffy in terms of the how how good of an actual look you can make with this. They they have a couple light colors, which is always good. Um, a couple shimmery colors, so you could definitely use this to make a full eye look. Um, you definitely have to like some of the basic colors, um, and then of course there's some purples in there. Purple seems to be the color of the moment, but the purple shimmery is just not too much there in terms of the silvery shimmer. That's almost duochromatic, but. Um, kind of light. So um, the shadows and all are pretty good. Um, some of them are better than others. The packaging I'm not a fan of. So um, for me, I'm not going to give this product any thumbs up or any thumbs down. I'm kind of neutral on it. Um, there's some good things. If this had better packaging, I think I might be inclined to give it a little bit more of a like there. But um, that's kind of my thoughts on it. For $50, there's just some better palettes out there. So um, maybe they'll release some of these in single colors. I really like the gold. That's probably my favorite out of all of them. So um, that's kind of my thoughts on it. I'm interested if you guys have had a chance to check this out yet or not, what your thoughts were. Um, or will you be purchasing this at all? Holiday season? What kind of gifts are you getting, everyone? So leave me a comment. They love hearing from you. And also feel free to subscribe. I come out with at least one new review every day. Thank you, guys.